General education requirements, you gotta love them, but are they a waste of time and money? Hi, my name is Austin. I graduated from UNF in 2020 with an international business degree. And in this video, I'm going to be giving a retrospective slash review of some of my college courses, starting with general education requirements. Today, we're going over art appreciation, earth science with lab, uh, public speaking for professionals, and um, the art and joy of computing, which was a very special class that I have a few things to say about. So let's just dive right in. All right, so let's start with ARH 2000 Art Appreciation. This counts for a humanities requirement. So I took Art Appreciation because I was hoping for the easiest humanities. I'm not much of a history person. I had a really busy semester my sophomore year, which is when I took this, and I was just really hoping this class would be chill and relaxed because art appreciation doesn't sound that hard. However, um, the difficulty I would put at three out of five, and the reason being is because um, there, you, do, you did have to memorize like a lot of art, like part of the exams, there were three exams, and part of those exams was actually identifying pieces of art and knowing what the medium was and who the artist was and what the era was. Um, and so in, in terms of difficulty, that made the tests pretty difficult. Um, in terms of workload, I'm also going to put it at a three out of five. And reason being is that you just you had to study. You literally had to study art and definitions, and pieces of art to to pass the class. Um, I got an A in this class, so it wasn't much of a problem, but it did take up quite a bit of my time. Um, enjoyment, I'm going to give it a two out of five. I didn't love art appreciation. I think there there were some things that were really cool in the class that I'll talk about in a second. But all in all. Yeah, it was online, it, so it was just like lectures and PowerPoints and eh, it was okay. Um, in terms of personal professional benefit, I'm going to give it a 1 out of 5. I don't think that um, having art appreciation has helped me in any professional or personal capacity at all. So that's just my hot take there. So in terms of what I feel I've taken away from this course, it's really not going to be that much. Um, I don't really remember the time periods. I don't really remember the pieces of art. I think that uh, the vocabulary and the intuition for describing and analyzing art might be the biggest thing. So like, you know, how an artist is able to force perspective and how to kind of describe that, as well as um, um, ideas of, of time and motion and how that's communicated in art. I think that's cool and I think I've carried that on a little bit. Um, and my favorite term is going to be liminal space, which is um, described in art as like, the what's going on between here and there so it's kind of like what's in in between and I think conceptually that was pretty cool and so I think that's that might be the one vocab word that I really took away but so that's that's my take on art appreciation it was okay um, if there were other options of things I could have taken that semester knowing what I know now maybe I would I don't know it was all right it was manageable so moving on, we have ESC 2000, which is going to be Earth Science. Now, I really, really enjoyed this class and it counts for the natural and physical science general education requirement. Um, I did not anticipate to enjoy this class as much as I did. I'm so glad that I chose Earth Science over um, Astronomy. Um, or some other science class like I mean I wasn't about to take chemistry or biology I'm a business major but um, yeah so I had a really awesome teacher for this class uh, who was really energetic really could handle being a, a great lecturer and was just a, a really cool guy he during the summers would go and do archaeological digs for like dinosaur bones and really knew what was up um, it was a large lecture hall and um, yeah, the, course, the course overall wasn't very difficult. I'm gonna go through the scorecard. So in terms of difficulty, Earth Science was a three out of five. Um, not really that hard. I would say that you know, the difficulty is that you really had to memorize the course content. So each, you know, each chapter, each section we went through, you know, for the exam, you would have to really, really know everything that was said in class. So a lot of like memorization, but all in all, not that hard. The workload I would say is like a two out of five. Um, and the reason being is that if you took good notes during the lectures, then you would have pretty much everything you needed ready to go to study for the exam. In terms of enjoyment, five out of five. This class, I learned so much and had so much fun just listening to all of the sciencey stuff that came out of 
these lectures and this course. In terms of personal professional benefit, I'm gonna give it a five out of five and it's gonna lean more to the personal side. I just thought that learning about the physical world was really, really cool. I mean, also the history of physics and astronomy and just scientific perspective in general, just like knowing how much that we didn't know and we know now that kind of informs everything about life. So I thought that was, I thought that was really awesome. And there's just so many weird fun facts that I know now from this course that I just can pull out of a hat. Honestly, my highest recommendation is to take earth science, even if you don't think it would be interesting because it, it honestly kind of is because you, you're just learning about the world around you. So earth science lab, which is a component of earth science, 1.5 difficulty, one workload, you know, it's a one credit course. Everything kind of happens in the lab. Um, enjoyment, uh, three, four out of five. I mean, it was fun to walk around and do experiments and, and stuff and like look at rocks and, you know, you know, scratch soap or whatever happens in that. I don't, I don't really remember. I mean, I think it was interesting. Um, I remember it being okay. I was just, it was manageable. All right, so moving on, we have public speaking for professionals. Now, I don't think this is actually a gen ed. I think this is a course that I had room for since I came in with so many credits from high school. Uh, it was fun though. It was a really awesome course. It was a 4,000 level. So um, it was actually quite difficult in terms of um, the research component that needed to go into the assignments. Uh, but it was cool. It was a night class. It had um, the, the the student population in the course was mostly like um, like adults. And so they were like business professionals, which was a really great um, experience for me as a, as a freshman. Um, anyway, so the, the difficulty of the course was like eh, three out of five, I would say. Um, we had to do research for these presentations and the presentations themselves were graded pretty harshly. Um, in terms of workload, three out of five, just because of that research component. For enjoyment, it's a three out of five as well. It's kind of middle of the road. It was it was an enjoyable class. Um, I gained a lot from it actually. So moving on to um, the, the professional benefit was huge. I mean, I highly recommend that you take a public speaking class if you can. I'm gonna say that's a four out of, 4.5 out of five for benefit there. So big takeaway for this course was really just how to structure a persuasive speech, how to structure other types of speech and how to um, kind of really just do the, the proper research that goes into backing up your, your speeches with proper citations. All right, and so finally we have IDC 2000, the art and joy of computing. And now it goes down as a reasoning and analyzing quantitative and or understanding the scientific method. So that's the, the general ed requirement that it fills. Now, what to actually say about this course. So it was advertised as a, a, a when I went into to college originally, I was a, a comp sci major. And so it was advertised to me as a, a fun introduction into computing that would show its applications uh, across like all these different fields and would be just a good, a good way to show you how interesting and, and fun it was. However, it was so convoluted and difficult and confusing and it, it, it didn't seem as much like the big ideas as much as it did highly complex specific things. Now, I think this was the first year this course was offered that I took it so it might have um, shaped up a little bit now, but boy, it was, it was tricky and I did not like it at all. Um, so I'm gonna say difficulty was a four out of five just because it was just really complex stuff for beginners to just kind of be thrown into. Um, workload was like 3.5 out of five because you had to learn Python and then do all this studying for other stuff within computing that was, was far more complex, like I mentioned. Um, professional or personal benefits. Um, I would say like a one out of five. I, I really didn't take anything from this course personally. I even switched out of computer science after taking this. So if that means anything. And for enjoyment, two out of five, because some of the stuff was interesting. I'll give it that. Like some of the stuff that I was able to actually sink my teeth into an understanding of was fine. But just like the level it was at was just, it was tricky. I would not recommend this course to anyone really. Um, there are so many other courses that fit this gen ed requirement look into those that's just that and yeah all right so to answer the question from the beginning of the video gen ed's a waste of time and money kind of i guess it really depends on which classes you take like i said i gained a lot of value personally from earth science and a lot of value professionally from public speaking for professionals the computing class and art appreciation 
were fine. And like I said, I graduated with an international business degree, so I will have more of these videos on business core classes as well, which might be more specific for those of you going into business. And um, if you're interested in more videos about UNF, I've got tons of those. So my name has been Austin once again. Take care. See ya.